So let's install MongoDB um, since the old one got deprecated. So first things first, install Homebrew. Homebrew. Allow whatever. So copy this stuff and install Homebrew. So we just paste it in here. It says I already did it. Don't I'm not gonna do it. Actually, I'll just run it just to see what it does. But I already saw Homebrew, so don't worry about it. Let's see, it's reinstalled. Cool, installation successful. All right, cool. So next thing we do is gonna. Homebrew tap, but you can install this one. So it's copy and paste this. You type that in and press enter, and it'll install. It'll take whatever time it takes. I have it installed already. Next, you're going to um, run this. Now you copy it here, or you can run this. Either or. So so it's running, but it doesn't show all the gibberish. Um, let's do a new tab, and then the other side is going to be Mongo. And you just type in DB, and then that's your test that database. You can quit. You can quit like that. Clear, and then that's how you install Mongo, and it should be working like that. Control C out of it. Um, you want to install MongoD. Um, MongoDB Homebrew. You will type in these treehouse commands. So it's make dir p dash p dash data. But you type in sudo. And next you'll type in this for the ownership of what you can do. And after you enter your password, and now you can do mongod. And your other ones will be mongo. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah, and now you can um, have your MongoDB working. You need two terminals. Don't forget that. I discovered that on that tutorial, remember? At the treehouse, I discovered it. Not the teacher. He's like, how do you do that? I don't know. I don't know. Most important, guys, is two. All right. So that's that. And I taught you how to install MongoDB with um, the, this command being deprecated. This is gone because um, Amazon has their own um, no SQL database that's scalable, supposedly. So they just basically grab like one of the open source MongoDBs and just made it better. And they have a service to host it because they're cloud based. But if you want to make your own MongoDB server on your own computer, then you can just grab this stuff and put it on your own computer, which is my own computer, my own computer. My, this is my cloud. No, no one touches my computer. It's my computer. So this is my app. So um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something. Peace.